Soido here and welcome to Ben TV today. I have a very special guest. Her name is Perry Hussein. She has worked in many different industries such as banking, retail, and also she was a makeup artist. And she always wanted to be a businesswoman and therefore she has helped running many small businesses in the past. Now she works as a skincare specialist during the day. And for the last nine years, Perry has been focusing on helping others through her three keys education and business system with personal development. Perry will be discussing a topic that she is very, very passionate about. So without further ado, let's all welcome Perry to the show. How are you? I'm all right. I'm okay. It's good to see you after such a long time. It's good to see you again. You've been well? I've been good. I've been good. Very, very, uh, very well, actually. How about yourself? Yeah, I've been very productive. So, yeah, this week um, I've got a few days to myself. So I've been very productive and, yeah, having lots of fun as well. So, <laughs> and thank you so much for in inviting me on your show as well. So it's a privilege to be here. It's my first kind of show that I'm doing. So <laughs> yeah. uh, forgive me if I make any mistakes. <laughs> no, no, I'm sure you're going to do very well. Uh, I wanted to interview uh, and uh, I always wanted to ask you. So I had the opportunity and I asked you to come on because I, I believe that uh, your experience and some of the things that you're going to share today, especially the topic that you're going to discuss, is going to have a lot of impact, not just uh, females, but males as well, both who are running, uh, who are entrepreneurs. And this is something that we should be aware of. So I'm really excited to hear some of the things that you, you are going to share and your experience as well. Yeah, absolutely, brother. So, you know, this is the way uh, we work now. It's all about, you know, paying it forward. So I'm just going to share some of my experiences that I've uh, in, in, encountered in the past and which has helped me in my growth uh, and, in, you know, changing myself in terms of my habits, my mindset. And, you know, nine years ago, um, if you had asked me to come on this show, I would have said no. Uh, because I was so conscious of how am I going to look or, you know, what are people going to think of me? But all that's changed now, because to be honest, um, I know uh, regardless of the way I look or what people think of me, the, the biggest um, thing about this is to share some knowledge or experience that could actually, even if it impacts one person, I'll be very, very happy, you know. Thank you for the um, great introduction that you gave. And so like you said, I'm part of the Three Keys Business Education and system now this is when it was the game changer for me this is what really really helped me level up in many many different uh, ways uh, in terms of my habits my mindset and my results so nine years ago like I said um, I would never get on videos I would never get on stage uh, I was a very sort of kind of like a person that would always think about the past um, not let going of the past you know all these kind of things uh, my, my daily habits were really bad I was, I was never organized um, I, I used to be around the same people doing the same thing and nothing really changed for me. And the, the, the most in, uh, important thing that I want to share, the topic that I want to share today is about POA and it stands for power of association. And what does that really mean? This really means is if I want to change habits, if I want to change my mindset, if I want to change my results, then it's just simple as yeah, I have to be around people that I've already done it already the people that I, you know, aspire to be like. So instead of me watching a YouTube video or reading a book and trying to have personal growth, if I have these type of people in my life every single day, at least one or two people that are much more um, on a higher mindset than myself or my um, experience or, you know, whatever it is uh, that I want to achieve, then do you think my results will come faster? That's what I believe. Results will come faster because I've got someone in my life every single day, you know, helping me, mentoring me, coaching me. Um, I mean, I don't. Have you ever wanted to learn a new language, brother? Have you ever yes, yes wanted yes. to learn? Yeah. Yes. What, what did you want to learn? I tried Arabic. <laughs> and how did you go about that? Uh, how did you go well, about learning Arabic? How did I go? Uh, it was quite difficult. I mean, I, I when I first started, I listened to audio book audio cassettes i remember them cassettes them basically yeah yeah, yeah 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 i bought them yeah. and then i bought a how-to book oh okay so 
um, did you manage to learn something or did you progress in any way or a very small amount and then i uh, focused on some other things <laughs> yeah completely... yeah exactly yeah um you know there's many languages i wanted to learn in the past um but you know i did a few things and i gave up but what if say tomorrow you landed in saudi in Saudi Arabia, and you, you stayed there for six months, you changed your environment, basically. So say, you know, you, you went to a town or a village or wherever, um, you know, English wasn't the main spoken language, and they were speaking their own language, Arabic. Do you think you would, you would learn faster, you'd be forced to learn faster, because you change your surroundings? 100%, 100%. 100%, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So, than all the audio cassettes and the books that you read. Yeah, because because you, you've landed in a country where, you know, the language that you want to learn, you know, this is what people speak. So it kind of like takes you out of your comfort zone and it kind of like forces you to learn the language quicker, faster, probably even better. It's just like when people come to London, they come and stay, in, you know, in, in London from many different countries. They might come with very little English or they might come with no English. But as the years go on, they are forced to learn the language because of the environment. So this is one of my main, main, main topics. This is one of the, the like for me, it's the most important thing in life. The surroundings I'm in every single day, the people that I associate myself with every single day will either keep me the same or it will help me to level up in many different ways. And that's my personal experience. So, you know, um, getting on stage or, you know, like making videos like this, you know, I would have never done things like this. If you had asked me, even if you said, Perry, I'll pay you, I would say, no, mm -hmm. I would not do it. But now the way I approach life in terms of uh, challenges or how I approach my day, even building relationships with people, I've become a better person. I've got better habits. I've got, you know, still, I've got loads to change. I'm not perfect, but you know, there's many, many, um, you know, there's a long way to go, but compared to how I was nine years ago, if you met me nine years ago and now, it's a completely different person in terms of my habits uh, and the way I approach things, you know, even if I have, um, you know, big challenges in my life, the way I would have approached it before and how I approach it now is completely different. You think it's a different person. And for me, that's been the biggest help in my life, not in just in my business, but in terms of building relationships with people, um, you know, um, and just bettering my skills and my habits. So, you know, they say like, if, you, if you're sitting in a, a, a table, um, say there's a, a table of 10 people and you are speaking the most, or, you know, you feel you know the most information and, you're, and you know, you are sharing the most, that means you're, you know, you're sitting at the wrong table because what I find most people in life, and I used to be like this, uh, hang around with people that I like, hang around with people that I'm the same as, so I, I feel better. I feel better about myself because if I'm hanging around with people that are better than me, of course, I'm going to make me feel, it's going to make me feel uncomfortable, but that's not helping me. If I'm around the same people every single day, um, how is that helping me to grow? <clears throat> that's not helping me to grow at all. So that's the mindset most people have. They like to be around people that they like and they love and you know they um that are similar to them but similar doesn't bring change and with that change there's no growth so uh, what i've worked out and what i've learned as well um three types of people i have in my life i try to have in my life every single day is obviously first people that are much more intelligent than me people that have better skills mindset than me and better habits and people that I learn from every single day, so I can grow, I can come out of my comfort zone. Um, and also these people, uh, especially one person in particular, my obviously my personal mentor, he will push me out of my comfort zone. Because sometimes I can get lazy, sometimes maybe I can get negative about something, but when there's someone every day helping you to understand and push you and come out of your comfort zone, naturally you become like them as well. So I've, I've become like my surrounding in terms of mindset. And the other type of people um, that I associate myself with are people that are similar to me as well. So when I say similar, people may be on the you know, same mindset, same kind of results. So we can share with each other. I can relate to you know, these type of people. And the other type of people that I like to be around is people that maybe I've got better mindset than them. <clears throat> I've got better habits now, better goals. Um, 
or more goals uh, in life. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's going a little bit, but it's fine. <laughs> um, take, take your time. So, sorry? Take your time, take your time. Yeah, um, <clears throat> so basically these people I can actually inspire. I can actually inspire, look, oh, uh, we used to know Perry nine years ago. She was a bit different, but she's changed now. And maybe we can change as well, you know? So it's just, you know, inspiring others, connecting with others, and obviously learn from people that are um, more, you know, like where I want to be kind of thing. So what I find is a lot of people, they like to be around the comfort zones, you know, they like to stay in the similar kind of environment which doesn't help them to grow you know and the other thing <coughs> sorry my, my throat's a bit dry but it's, it's fine I, I'll, um, I'll I'll get along so and the other thing that I want to share was um, a lot of people feel uncomfortable um, when they are around people that are more successful than them but really that's the wrong attitude because when we are pushed in a situation where we're surrounded by lots of people that are achieving goals, achieving their dreams, or even changing their habits, um, we don't, you know, we shouldn't feel uncomfortable. We should feel inspired and think, wow, if they can do it, they started just like me, zero on ground zero. If they can do it, then, you know, I can. So it really brings you out your comfort zone. It really helps you push and challenge yourself. And I've never been in that position before where I had to really challenge myself because. I wasn't around people that were challenging themselves, you know? So, you know, for me to really um, come out of myself and the way I have, to have that lim limitless mindset where I'm thinking I can achieve anything, no one can stop me, is really about the power of association that I've created or I've, you know, got for the last nine years that's really helped me push, you know? Can you relate to that, um, brother? Can you relate to some yeah, of the things I'm saying? 100%. I think we shouldn't be, um, I mean, when it comes to other people who are much better than you and they've got better skills and you want to be where they are now, and this is one of your goal and your aim, you should embrace them rather than feel uncomfortable or feel intimidated. And I, I find a lot of people are, um, for some reason, it's, it's to do with the mindset. It's how you approach it. It's, it's, it's whether you've got a fixed mindset or a growth mindset. I mean, you have to look at uh, other people who have done exceptionally well, and you want to be in that same position and you have the same goal. So what do you do? What you uh, naturally would think that, oh, okay, I want to learn from them, not steer away from them. And that's, that's really important to have that kind of clear mindset and have that clarity rather than feel that uh, um, you're not comfortable stepping out or asking them. I think the first thing is, is to engage with them, connect with them and ask them what they're doing. Uh, some people are going to be very 100%. happy and op uh, with open hands and say, look, listen, I'm doing uh, X, Y, and Z. Maybe you should do this. Let's have a look. And that's how growth starts within your own business within your own self as well like you said it's very important who you hang around with you can't be the smart if you believe that you are the smartest person sitting on that table that my friend i've got bad news for you you <laughs> you are not there are other people uh out there who are much more skillful much more knowledgeable than you and you have to find these people that's going to help you so it's very important we, yeah we have to relate yeah. on that yeah, hundred percent. Because um, it's very important what you just said as well, and you know what I shared earlier. Um, a lot of people, because they hang around with the people that are very similar to them, they think, or even a bit kind of maybe mindset wise, um, results wise, a bit maybe not as high as them. It makes them feel good. It mm. makes their ego feel good. It makes them feel they've you know they've arrived in life. They've accomplished something, but you know if you really look deeper if you really look deeper into these kind of things you know um what's st stopping you from learning from someone who's got more of a you know better mindset than you or who's got better habits than you wouldn't you grow as a person wouldn't you know like no one is no one has you know arrived 100 percent, and you know they're the perfect um example of a human being so it's not just in terms of business it's because business um 
uh, relationships, family, all depends on one thing, building relationships with other people. Even if you have a traditional business, if you don't know how to build relationships with your staff, if you don't know how, you know, how to um, treat them well, or if you don't know how to kind of understand your staff, then that's where the issues come. This is where, you know, I hate my boss, people leave their jobs um, because they can't, build, you know, they just think money, money, money. They don't think of the, the next step into uh, personal development. They don't think, okay, what am I doing wrong? Um, you know, how should I change? They always blame the staff as an example. They might say, oh, he was la lazy. He was always, you know, missing work or what, whatever the excuse is. But what if I thought, okay, maybe, you know, they're not comfortable around me. Maybe I should change. Maybe, and then that's how you develop um, uh, um, people skills and obviously better um, uh, building relationships. So the core thing to everything in life is to build better relationships with people because we associate ourselves every day in our lives, whether it's business, family, you know, personal life, it's people. So the better skills, the better relationships we build, the better we become, the better our results can become as well, you know? So for me, you know, the most important thing in life is who are your friends? Who is your power of association on a daily basis? Who are you learning from? Are you learning anything? This is what I would love to ask the audience that's listening, um, you know, if you sit down um, and look, you know, in your daily life, in the last week, have you met anyone new? Have you learned anything, any, you know, anything new? Have you, have you been inspired in the last week by anyone? Or is it just the same people that you see every day that you like, you love, or you like to spend time with? Great, we all like to do that, but that's not really gonna help us in our growth because, the same thing, you know, Einstein said, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result is insanity, isn't it? So most people, they wish, they dream of, oh, I wish this was better, or I wish I had this, or wish I could do that. But it's not about wishing. It's about changing your, your environment, changing your mindset. And you talked about uh, mindset earlier, which is, is the most powerful tool any human being has, is the mindset. But how do you get to that mindset? I never had this mindset before. You have to change your surroundings. You have to change what's going into your mindset. Just like with food, if you want to be healthy and or you want to go on some sort of diet or something, you're going to change your food and you're going to watch what goes into your body because you know that affects your health. So it's the same way. We've got to affect, you see what goes in our mind on a daily basis because it helps our um you know, our well-being, it, it will affect well-being, our health, our mindset, everything, learnings. So in yeah, the I last think, nine yeah. years... I think, I think yeah. it's very important to, to understand what you're eating and, uh, and focus and, and look at what is the things that you're, you're eating because I think it helps, uh, it starts with your health. It starts with your health. If you don't have good health, no use having good, uh, no use having wealth as well. So you have to uh, ensure that you're having good food, uh, good nutrition, and uh, ma making sure that uh, the food that you're intaking it helps you because it's a fuel for you. It's your energy base. It's what you eat. If you uh, if you continuously eat junk, then you, you you're not going to have much. Uh, energy within yourself so it's very important to realize what you're eating especially when you're working from home and uh, when you're working by yourself sometimes you neglect uh, uh, eating or you just uh, sort of live on coffee and I know a lot of entrepreneurs they said oh I need a shot of coffee uh, I need coffee to uh, energize myself but no that's not the right way of doing it have uh, the right food that will give you more energy and help you to be more focused because that's what it all starts. You've got to look after your health. If you don't look after your health, then you're not going to be able to talk to anyone, nor are you going to be able to build that relationship because your mind is going to be fuzzy. Your health is not going to be that, uh, uh, it's not going to be optimized, simple as that. And I think it's very important. It's, that's a very important um, message you just said, brother, about improving the health. But as human beings, we all know, uh, you know, like say start of the new year, we, we start this, oh, January, I'm gonna, you know, have all these goals oh, that I, I wanna weight. achieve. <laughs> um, um, yeah, losing weight is always one of them. And even that's included, I'm guilty of that as well. I'll join the gym, I'll go for a couple of weeks, months, and then, it, you know, thing, I get busy or, you know, it doesn't become so important to me. And then I'm paying my gym membership and I'm not going to the gym. And that's how gyms make millions of 
you know, <laughs> pounds edge know, drop by people not going to the gym. But the, the point that I wanted to make is, so you, so you said, um, you know, we need to eat better, stop eating junk food. We need to um, change our, you know, look at the way we, what we put in our body. But how do we get to that place? Because it's very hard when you've been eating, say you've been eating junk food for the last 10 years, it's very hard to just switch overnight and um, break that habit. Even for myself, you know, I love my sweet stuff. And it's very, very hard to break out that cycle, that habit. So this is where your POA comes in. Because if you're hanging around successful people, one of the uh, number one things on their list will be health, eating, you know, wellness, eating, you know, um, good and things like that. So when you're hanging around people that are changing their habits, their food habits, their mindset habits, how they look after their health, naturally, slowly, slowly, whether it takes one, one month, one year, one week, whatever time it takes you, you will start changing. So again, even with health, because so many people make promises to themselves, but they can't do it because it's very hard to break out of any cycle. Like for myself, I never used to use a diary. When I first started my business, for me, using a diary was like the last thing on my mind. But how can I be an organized business owner? How can I be organized with who I'm speaking to? How can I plan my week without a diary? But because it wasn't in my habit, I had, because the way our business is, or any business is run, when you have a diary, obviously you're gonna be working more efficiently. So. Because I was looking, every time I went training or I met up with my mentor, he used to pull out his diary and I saw it once, I ignored it. Saw it twice, ignored it. Then after weeks, months, I was thinking, okay, I need to do this. So slowly, slowly, it became my habit as well. Now, I, don't, I can't live without my diary. So, you know, it's, it's easy to say we need to change certain things. But at the end of the day, it just makes it so much easier to change anything we want, whether it's habits, mindset, you know, results in life is if we hang around people or learn from people that are actually already there. That's the important part. So whatever part of your life you want to change, yes, it's very hard by yourself. Anything we do by ourselves is very hard. But when we have a group of people doing the same thing, when you have even one person doing what you want to do, it just encourages us, it just inspires us. Um, well, most people, you know, that's how we grow, by changing our environment. Um, it's like that fish. Um, What's that? There's a fish that uh, whatever um, uh, environment you put, you, you put the fish in the tank, it grows to that level. So if you put it in a small, I can't remember the name, to be honest, if you put it in a small um, kind of tank, it will just grow to that to that um, size. But if you go oh. and put it in the ocean or the sea, it will grow, I think, like 12 feet or something because. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't know that fish. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, every human being they have so much potential, so much potential, they don't even know themselves. So how did I know that someone like me, I've got no you know, business skills as in education, I didn't get a degree, I didn't go to um, did, um, university to get a business degree or uh, do coaching, I didn't do any coaching courses, but because of the people that I'm around with every single day, how did someone like me get on stage? How did someone like me, inspire so many people to change to come out of their shell to push themselves i've helped so many people do that because someone's helped me do that but if some if, if i didn't have that in the first place how would i go and do that to someone else so it's all about paying it forward so i think as humans it's duty for us to um you know to tap into our limit limitless potential and go and help others as well to do the same but we can only do that by someone helping us. So yeah, that's that's you know really what I wanted to share. Um, you know, I hope it was useful and um, it's just something I'm very very passionate about. Um, power of association. So yeah, thank you so much for having me. Well, you're on. welcome. You're welcome. I think you uh, uh, discussed uh, quite a lot of things, quite important things. I think one of the things is the power of association is another form of accountability. So what you learn from your mentor or people that you hang around with, and you mentioned that uh, uh, then giving back to the people who uh, don't, uh, are not aware of it or don't have that information yet. So it's a very good opportunity that you learn from uh, the people that you want to learn from or you, uh, you're hanging around with, and then relay that message and that knowledge to the people that you are teaching. I'm a firm believer on that. So whatever I read, 
um, on a book or if I go on a trading and if I learn something, what I do is to reinforce my own learning, I teach it back to other people. That's the best way of remembering everything and making sure that you're also adding value to other people's lives. As exactly. Well. Yeah. Exactly. So you're, not, yeah. you're not thinking it to yourself and saying, no, this is all mine and uh, I'm not going to share it with other people. Sharing is caring. Sharing is always beneficial to other people because like this video, we don't know who's going to, uh, someone's going to benefit from this. Someone's life is going to change because they saw me and you talking and you talked about the importance of uh, uh, associating yourself, changing your environment and uh, watch what you eat and who you hang around with will make a difference because you said 90, nine years ago, Perry would, would have had difficulty in coming in front of a camera and talking let alone uh, today, right? So, uh, which shows a lot of progress. So someone somewhere down the line would, would be inspired by the video. Oh, yes. Hopefully that's my, my aim and my goal as well. And uh, the information that you shared, the knowledge that you have and you shared with us, someone somewhere uh, uh, watching this video is gonna be inspired and it will, it will be the beginning of their uh, changing the way they do things, hopefully. Do you have any, uh, uh, do you have any, uh, say, uh, a number one thing that you want to share with uh, someone that is going to uh, impact them, uh, help them? A one thing that has yeah. changed your life? So, yeah, it's, it's really about um, just sitting down by yourself with a pen and paper and just write down the five people that are in your life that you spend the most time with. Now, are these the same pe same people that you spent the same last ten years with, say last say last five years with? You know, if it is, then how are you? How what have you learned from them? What you know? What have you learned new? H have you grown as a person? If you look at your habits or um, in terms of achieving things, or you know, are you in the same? Okay, you can be in the same job, no problem. But have you grown as a person? Have you grown? have you made new friends have you, what is the most important thing is what have you learned in the last five years how different are you and if you can't put much down then that's a sign that okay I've got my friends they're amazing I've got my family yes I care about them and I'll, I'll spend time with them but if you want to grow if you want to change if you want to get different results then you know think about looking into um, expanding your um, people that you hang around with people that you learn from people that you um uh you know want to like in in terms of um expanding your mindset and habits and daily goals and things like that you know where are you going to find these people how are you going to network and get in association with people that are more successful that is the key thing um because you don't have to leave your friends you don't have to leave your family but in, in our daily lives, we do have to have different types of people in our lives to have that change, you know? That's what I believe. So I think it's a very important exercise too, because when you write it on pen and paper, but you see it in black and white, it, it hits you harder, you know? It, like the, it, well, it does for me anyway, when I write things uh, down, I, it's so much yeah. more powerful. I think there's something magical pen to paper. If you put it, put pen to paper, there's something magical yeah. happens and it's, it's quite psychological. So that's why I think, what it does is it reinforces your learning as well. Because what I do when I when I read a book, sometimes what I don't understand something is I just write it down and then refer back to it. And I think it's quite important what you said he, that that thing. I think you should sit down and look at and go, uh, take a step back, reflect, and say uh, who are the five people that is having a huge impact on my life. And uh, you, that doesn't mean that you have to let them go, which I, I, don't, I don't believe in that. I, you should keep your old friends. You should associate with them. But you have to expand your, your uh, friend uh, circle or cycle. And uh, uh, if whether it's business or personal, whatever reason it is, for, for your personal growth, for your happiness, uh, you, you should, because you should be, you should be doing that. You should be looking at yourself. What am I learning? What do I need to learn? What, what do I need to do next uh, for my family, for my business? Uh, if, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're working from, from home, who do I need to uh, uh, engage with? Who is the group that is going to make a huge impact on you? So, which is very important. So I think people, you, yeah. you heard it from Perry here today. Uh, 
sit down right and do this exercise it's going to be mind-blowing and i'm sure it's going to help you a lot so list down the five people that is having a huge impact on you and see if you're smart then it's time for you to really seriously think okay do i need to uh, approach other people and see who's going to help me and uh, which other people are going to have a, a positive in impact in, in my life yeah yeah and to be honest with you um if you're listing down the people and it's the same people, it's the same people that you are seeing every single day or every single week um, in the last five to 10 years, whether it's friends, family, then like, honestly, in my opinion, you, are you really growing? Because what, what are you learning from the same people who've got the same conversations? You know, we have the same conversations with the same people over and over again, just about general life or, you know, work or, you know, what's going on, what gossip's going on. How are, we, how are we really growing? That's the main thing. How have you grown in the last, even year, forget five years, six months. In the last six months, how have you grown? You know, who have you interacted with that you've learned something new? It's all about learning. Because when we learn something new, then we can apply it. We can change our situation, circumstance, mindset, habits. But without learning, without growing, then nothing changes, you know. So that's my biggest take is I've got constantly learn constantly grow as a person there's so many more habits i need to change my mindset you know you talked about growth mindset and um fixed mindset but in reality we all humans have both we, we all have growth and we all have fixed mindset so some things i'm willing to have a growth mindset on like say within my business i'm willing to be open and have a growth mindset on some things i have a closed mindset it could be something like food. I'm not very adventurous when it comes to food. So, but saying that, because I've traveled a lot with, with obviously my, biz, my business partners and lots of hundreds and thousands of people around the world, when I see everyone eating a certain type of food over a period of time, I slowly kind of like fall into that as when I started trying to eat it, you know, because mm. I was surrounded by, so it's all about your surroundings. It's all, it is all about the surroundings, nothing else. And your surroundings will help your mindset. And without the mindset, we have nothing. There's no growth, you know? So, yeah, that's what I want to share with you, everyone, Brilliant. today. So I hope it was useful. <laughs> 100%. Uh, I'm sure the audience or the listeners and wherever they uh, if they're listening on the podcast or if they're listening, uh, if they're watching it on YouTube, I'm sure they've learned uh, quite a lot. There's a lot of... Uh, golden nuggets that has been uh, shared here today as well especially when it comes to developing yourself as well uh, whether you're an entrepreneur or not i uh, i believe that the information today that has provided would help you somewhere down the line and make sure that you do the exercise anyway thank you so much perry for sharing uh the information and your experience and your knowledge as well so people if you're watching on youtube uh do uh, subscribe and hit that bell button uh, for notification and we'll be sharing uh, loads of other uh, videos that's going to be helpful for entrepreneurs wherever you live it doesn't matter uh, these days you can have access to our, our channel as well so thank you for watching and uh, i will see you in the next video